I am uh, Tom Denny, Director of the Auburn University MRI Research Center, and today we're going to talk about rigor, reproducibility, and transparency scientific premise. So the NIH has released a series of notifications that affect the review and scoring of NIH grant applications that are submitted on or after January 25th, 2016. These uh, revisions affect all F, K, and R mechanisms. Also, these revisions affect the scoring of these grant applications. These changes are grouped into four main areas. Scientific premise of the proposed research, authentication of key biological and or chemical resources, relevant biological variables, and rigorous experimental design. The scientific premise for an application is the research that is used to form the basis for the proposed research question. Moving forward, NIH expects applicants to describe the general strength and weaknesses of prior research cited by the investigator is crucial to support the application. This could include attention to the rigor of the previous experimental design as well as the incorporation of relevant biological variables and authentication of key resources. Scientific premise is not just a simple literature review. Uh, all published papers have a description of the limitations of the results and a description of uh, future work. In scientific premise, you need to demonstrate that you are aware of these uh, limitations in the literature and show how your proposed research project, your research strategy, addresses these limitations and advances the field. For example, you may advance the field by using a different cell line, using a different experimental design, or incorporating greater biological diversity in your experiment. These are not new requirements. NIH grants have always required a rigorous statement of scientific premise. However, these new revisions place a greater emphasis on your assessment of the uh, limitations in the, in the previously published literature and your preliminary research, preliminary uh, results, and how your application uh, addresses these limitations and advances the field. Reviewers will expect to see scientific premise information and the research strategy part of your application in the significant section. Also, when you receive your summary statement back from the NIH, comments and critiques on scientific premise will be in the significant section. Finally, reviewers will be instructed to evaluate how well you've constructed your scientific premise and incorporate that into their overall impact score for your, your application. So scientific premise is not limited to published literature. It also affects your preliminary results. Uh, for scientific premise, it will be important to show how your preliminary results justify or support key assumptions made in your application. Reviewers will assess these applications and evaluate how well you have used either citations of previous literature or your preliminary results to justify these assumptions. If you need more assistance, go to the Research Commons website on the UAB CCTS webpage.